Okay, so we got a brand new Google Local Service Ads newsletter that just came out for January, February of 2024. There's a lot of new features that are being launched and there's some writing on the wall that you guys are gonna be able to see here on what's to come and where Google's headed with Google Local Service Ads. The fact that they're launching direct business search for LSA is a big deal because what this means is that if anybody is searching for your business, that you will have your Google local service ads show up for that search. And I'll show you in a second what that looks like. So basically it's a brand search. So whenever anybody is searching for your business and they type in your business name and your city, you want to put your best foot forward. And, and that's what Google is helping you do. And they're not going to charge you when it's an existing client of yours or existing customer. And you're gonna show up right at the top. It's gonna show up above everything else, okay? So Google screens calls that are connected via this ad. Callers will be asked if they're a returning customer. If they indicate they're a returning customer, you will not be charged. Google's putting this in place. And we're also gonna listen to the calls as a partner to make sure that you don't get charged. If you'd like to opt out of this lead type, you can turn off the feature in your profile and budget, okay? It just does not make sense to not turn this on because Google's going out of their way to make it so you don't get charged. So why anybody wouldn't turn this on, I just, I don't understand why they wouldn't. So anyway, so let me just show you what this looks like, okay? If I go here, and let's say I type in personal injury attorney, West Palm Beach. Okay. These are the guys that I see. Now, if I go and I type in, let's say Lisa Law Firm. Okay. This is one of the firms that you just saw there. Okay. So if I type in Lisa Law Firm, I want to see what's going to show up. Okay. So right now what's showing up is their Google business profile page. And what is going to happen is when you turn this on for Google local service ads, your ad will show up above it, showing that Google screened checkbox as well. And your Google business profile page will show below it. So it just gives people more confirmation that you're verified by Google, that you're not just on Google business profile, that you're on Google local service ads. So again, the more verification validation that you can have when somebody types in your business name and your city, the better. And especially if you get that green checkbox from Google, it was showing the endorsement. I'm telling you, it makes a big difference. So I hope that makes sense. And then the next thing is they're launching this feature for photos added to LSA to be showing up in the search results. Okay. So you need to upload a minimum of four photos for all your accounts. So if you include high quality photos, it can help you stand out. Okay. They can give your potential customers a peek into your business so they know who you are and what to expect. That's why Google will be adding the photos pulled from your local service ads to your ad showing up in the search result. This is going to give you more prominence. It's going to give you a differentiation between your competitors. And for the best results, they recommend uploading four to six in focus, high quality photos. If you have photos in your Google business profile, you will need to add them to your local service ad. So in other words, just because you have them in your Google business profile page doesn't mean that they're gonna be transferred to your local service ads profile, okay? Professional service profiles will continue showing headshots, but all of the verticals may show one of your business photos. So this is what it would look like. You can see it, it does allow you to stand out because if everybody else has got a headshot, and you've got a really good professional photo, it's gonna really help you. I'm telling you, it's the dashboard policy manager page will now flag disapproved business photos. Business photos in violation of any policy will not block the ad from serving. Photos in violation will simply not show on the ad and providers will have the option to remove the photo or appeal the decision. Okay, so this is just part of what you wanna do to get those photos approved, okay? Hope that makes sense. Definitely add photos high quality, and it's gonna help you stand out, especially on mobile. Okay, finally here, and this is what I was saying, is this gives you an idea of where Google's going, okay? Google local service ads are starting to appear in Google Business Profile. If this doesn't show you the writing on the wall for Google and where things are headed, I don't know what will. Google has been wanting to monetize 
the Google organic, or in other words, Google business profile section of Google for a long time. And this is their way to start doing it. Okay. And when you can have your Google local service ads page showing up in the Google business profile section, it is going to help you significantly stand out because it's got a few more bells and whistles than the Google business profile page does. It's got that Google screen checkbox or Google guaranteed checkbox. And it's also got some different pictures and it's got a few other things that the Google business profile page doesn't. Sometimes it'll even show the ability to be able to book call. It'll show different things like number of years you've been in business. It's just going to be different from the other listings in the Google business profile section. And therefore, it's going to make you stand out. And the billing and pricing for these ads will remain the same. And this is only launching in the US for English search terms in California on mobile only on iOS for now. This is just a premonition. This is showing you where Google is headed. And so I would be ready for this. Profile optimization carousel at top of profile and budget page. Okay, so they are helping you get ideas for how to optimize your profile and your budget page. Okay, so there are some points that they're gonna give you. It's gonna be at the top of your profile and budget page. You may see recommendations designed to improve ranking and lead volume. They previously rolled this out to service area recommendations, and now they're doing it for other things that will help you optimize your page. And if you really want to know what is helping to move the needle, then get a hold of us. We can help you. We've been doing this for many, many years. We can help you save more money by disputing more of your lead and to coach and train your staff. And we can also do things like help you with your response rate by using artificial intelligence to help you answer the phone and respond to message leads, okay? So we can help you solve the problems that you have. We help you guys get more reviews. We help you with the three R's. So give us a call, text us, 619-304-5155. You can text the word audit to that same number and we'll send you a quick, 12 questions to help you understand how well optimized your LSA page is, or you can just text us to 619-304-5155. Thanks. Talk soon. Bye-bye.